Welcome, aviators, to Aviator TV Newsbreak. I am Danny Tolman, and let's get right into the news. The primary elections were last week. A few of the party candidates were are Paulette Jordan, running for governor, Brad Little, running as the Republican Party for governor, Christina McNeil, running for U.S. Representative, Russ Fulcher, running as the Republican Party for U.S. Representative, Janice McGeekin, running for Lieutenant Governor, and Kristen Collum, running for Lieutenant Governor. The weather today is currently 72, with a high at 79 and a low of 58 degrees. Tomorrow is going to have highs at 80, with a low of 61 degrees. Hello, aviators. Here are your announcements for today. At the end of this week, on Friday, we are going to have a 6th grade move-up day for the 6th grade. We will, we will be packing up the 6th graders so they can come up to this campus. I don't know how that is going to turn out, but here is your lunch for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will have a bean and cheese burrito with milk and vegetables. That is all for your announcement. Did you know that in the White House there are 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms, and 6 levels in the residence? There are also 100, 412 doors, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, and 3 elevators. That's all for your Did You Know. Now on to sports. Welcome back for sports today. At 7, the Warriors take on the Rockets for Game 4. This game is part of the series that would decide who we in the finals against the East. In MLB news, the Angels faced the Blue Jays at 5, the Pirates faced the Red, the Red Sox faced the Rays, and the Marlins take on the Mets at 5-10. Also, the NBA draft is coming on June 21st, and the Suns have the first pick, and the Kings have the second pick. Now to entertainment. Today in entertainment, we have Solo, a Star Wars story which is releasing on May 25th. This movie is rated PG-13 and it is about Han Solo's journey as he meets Chewbacca, his future co-pilot, and Lando Calrissian, a notorious gambler. Also tonight is the last episode of The Flash for season four. For today's Man on the Street question, it is, what weapon would you bring to the zombie apocalypse? Shotgun. Uh, I would want to be, I don't know, bird so I can fly away, you know, like, you know, <laughs> yeah. Ready. Uh, a weapon I would bring was pro would probably be a 50 cal sniper with a long range scope and a chainsaw attached to the bottom and a three foot sniper stand and a camouflage cloak. It would be a hammer for their heads. I would use a bat with nails on it. It would probably be a machine gun with a sword on it so I could use it like that and then also like this. I would probably bring a flamethrower to the zombie apocalypse. Next time Nathan will be talking about the Texas school shooting and we'll be updating you with some weather. We'll see you next time at 2.15.